Hello, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Lindsay Watson. Boardman trustees and a handful of residents debated earlier tonight on the need for an ambulance levy on the November ballot. The levy will generate $6 million a year for five years and will allow Boardman to have one staffed ambulance at all three of its fire stations. The Boardman ambulance levy, yes or no? It's our top story tonight at 10. The Boardman trustees meeting began with resident Michael Collier telling the trustees that many people in Boardman cannot afford another tax. I'm leaving here today and going to help a family of nine. This woman took a family in and I'm taking her food today because she don't have nothing. Well, all I, you know what, here you have a bunch of Boardman residents that are up to here with taxes. Several of the speakers, including Mark Brandenstein, questioned the need for Boardman being in the ambulance business, since Lane Life Trans currently operates in Boardman. I personally believe Joe Lane. I, I've, I've listened to him. I've talked to him. I trust the guy. He said he's not going anywhere. You need to listen to what we're saying. We're not lying. Fire Chief Mark Pitzer explained that last month, Lane Life Trans responded over 10 minutes 50 times and five times over 20 minutes which Firefighters Union President Brian Hallquist explained is a problem. You don't know what it's like when your closest ambulance is Mahoning Avenue and Turner Road when you're doing CPR on somebody. It's happened. But when I go to the ballot box, this isn't just an ambulance levy. This money is for a lot of different things. Township Administrator Jason Lurie said the levy is to be able to run fire calls and ambulance calls at the same time. The true answer to this problem is a countywide ambulance approach. Which the Boardman trustees tried with the county commissioners and Canfield, but in both cases were told no. The trustees' concern was Lane Life Trans closing. Then what? We were not going to sit here and wait until that day when an ambulance service is not available for you or me or anybody in this room because there's no ambulances here. And we decided we were going to get in front of this thing, and this was the only way left to do it. Foreman currently runs two ambulances, a used one and a new one, but Administrator Jason Lurie explained the ambulances are staffed with firefighter overtime, a situation Lurie said was not sustainable. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.